welcome to another segment of winemaking at Prescott Wine Cellars. Today we're going to talk about hydrometers. Uh, we're going to be talking specifically about hydrometers that measure bricks or the amount of sugar in wine. We're going to, we have several different ones here. Uh, we have close reading ones that will go from uh, minus 5 to plus 5. This one goes from eight, 0 to 8, 8 to 16, and 16 to 24. Uh, the other hydrometer you can get is a triple hydrometer, and this will read uh, bricks from 0 to 35, or it will read specific gravity, and it will also read potential alcohol. This is a very useful tool also, and uh, widely used by the home winemakers, but you'll find that it's a, uh, the scale's a lot tighter and a little bit harder to read. Uh, so, so we like to stick to the close range ones as we have right here. Okay, as I was saying, this is the finished wine here. The hydrometer is reading a negative two right now. And this is a particular wine that I will want to back sweeten to about 2% residual sugar. So I'll do my calculations uh, based off of the negative two reading <clears throat> and I want to take it up to 2% residual sugar. So I, uh, based off that, I'll be able to do my calculations to determine how much sugar that I'll need to add according to how many gallons of wine that I'll be sleeping. Here in the uh, test jar today, I have some blueberry wine that we uh, just back sweetened. And I'm going to take a measurement on it. And to do so, I put my hydrometer in Give it a little swirl to keep any of the uh, bubbles off of it. I can see my reading right now is 6.2 bricks or 6.2% uh, residual sugar in the blueberry wine. Uh, you can see the hydrometers are not very intimidating. They're very easy to use. And we have a whole range of them here at Prescott Wine Cellars. If you're interested in purchasing the close range ones, or if you want the uh, triple hydrometer one, uh, we do sell, sell them all. Or if you have any questions, you can always give us a call. <laughs>